was that? I'm sneezing. Um. do some gotta pay the credit card I've got to answer comments I've got a bazillion emails half of them are for you you really got to get better at your keyboard skills you're not going to get by typing two words a minute okay now we've been working on this and I know you want me to sign you up for that online typing class, that Miss Myers typing class, but I'm not going to spend that money because I don't think you're really serious about it. I know you don't have thumbs. People can do it. It's been done. You know how much the price was. I'm not paying for that typing class. No, we cannot trade them a bag of chicken jerky for the typing class. They don't work that way. Besides, people gave you that chicken jerky. You're not trading it for a typing school. Goofball. Because then you'll just want me to go get you more. I said, no, you're not taking the typing class. You can learn on your own. That's how I learned. You just lay a piece of paper over your hand so you can't see the keys, and then you type. That's how I learned. Let me finish my coffee and let me talk to the folks here because I'm really backed up on the emails. Thank you. I let you out. Please don't wake up the whole neighborhood. Okay? Because you have the ability to do that, you know. You know that everyone in this whole area knows you. And they know your bark, too. Can I have a kiss? Or are you just focused on that door? Are you just waiting for me to open that door, huh? I don't really see anything going on out there. What was that? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Thank you. There's not much happening out here. Wow. That is a bright sunny morning. Whew. You see that nose at work? Scanning the whole area. Probably doesn't even have to look. Just stick the nose up in the air. I see it going. We had another heavy dew morning, so you can see it here. See the 
It didn't rain. This is just dew. Now look at the cab windows. Really fogged up. It keeps the dust down, which is great. We drove into town yesterday, and whenever we come back, you know, we come along the dirt road here, and then we make a turn, and we come right here. And every time when we do that, I have to shut the windows because when we slow and make that turn, the dust that's following us will come right in the cab windows. Well, yesterday, and actually the last few times we've driven into town, I haven't had to do that because there is no dust cloud following us along. You know, we make a and come right, right here into our spot. This is our third camping location so far. The other two, this is my most comfortable place that I like. The other two were nice, but uh, they were more crowded. There were people around, you know, we went to visit with some folks and um, spent some time there. And it was a, it was a, it was, um, I'll call it like a no camera event where I didn't film anything. It wasn't something that I wanted to share with everyone. You know, a lot of people are out here for privacy. Some people are out here and don't want their locations to be known, and I respect that 100%. And so I don't take the camera out unless I ask. And many times I don't even ask because it just doesn't fit into the context of what's going on at the time. So, um, you know, my good friends that know me um, and that are okay with the camera, and Lefty, they all let me shoot cameras, camera shots of them. I'm sorry, he's that's where his chair usually sits. Let me see how it's doing. Well, it's probably okay. It's a little damp right along this leading edge. Do you want to try it? Do you want me to sit it here for you? A pretty good job wrapping yourself up here. Try it out, see if it's okay. Is it gonna be all right? And I still have these uh, this shovel here. Uh, if someone wants this, oh, I forgot. I gotta take these inside. These, what were they again? Yeah, tasty. These tasty scissors. And you can see, with a little cleanup, these suckers are brand new, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, that is a bottle opener, someone, uh, someone told me. So, you know, I don't know everything about everything, but <laughs> I know a lot about a couple of things. But all the rest, I don't know much about. So, when I mentioned that this looks like it's a device for something... Yeah, somebody's like, uh, dude, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> you've already done all your whizzers. You've had your chicken snacks. You've had your dental chew. And the sun is out and your eyes are closing. Okay, just keep a watch on the area for everyone. Lefty is the area guard dog. That is for dang sure. Oops. Somebody's over there clearing the morning phlegm. Okay, let me we'll finish my coffee. I'm gonna clean those up today and put them into service. Charged individually. So you charge the first one, it gets charged. You unplug your... Sorry about that. It's a, but it's highly recommended that you take one of these standalone lithium chargers and you get each one charged up before you install it. Holy I think we've got a friend coming to visit. I might have to set the camera down for a minute. I believe this is a friend that's stopping by to visit. You remember I always said if you're out in the quartzite area and you want to come by and have lefty bark at you a lot get in touch with me either through the website 
or send me an email, thecampulanceman at gmail.com. Go to the website, thecampulanceman.com. There's a contact me page. Either one of those ways, I'll get the message. We'll set up a day and time to make sure that we're all available. And then just like this gentleman, you come on by and Lefty barks at you. So earlier I was saying that a friend was pulling up here. So Bob pulled up. Oh, there's the whole fleet over there. Bob pulled up in his Lazy Days. If you're not familiar with Lazy Days, these are, I'm going to say they're considered classics, right? Well, they still made them up to last year, but they've made them since the 50s. Okay. This and this is, is what year? 2001. This is an 01. And so the, the surprising thing and really special thing about this 01 Lazy Days You are seeing that correctly. It has the 7.3 power stroke. And, you know, we've discussed this before. That's the best engine ever produced. <laughs> but this thing is just a, a treat for the eyes, really. Uh, the condition. It had how many miles when you bought it? 36,000. How many? 36,000. Oh, my gosh. It's got 50 on it now. <laughs> And, uh, that's not even broken in yet and the uh, previous owner were they were uh, they're not around anymore they passed away and their okay. son sold it to me okay and it was right next to their house so it kind of didn't get the full strength wow. of the sun just it really like, looks beautiful well reserved, but uh, it's a it's a it's fun it's just uh, our escape mechanism I'm but, gonna just walk us around this so that everybody can really soak in how nice it looks See if Lefty will just be quiet for a little while. But this thing is really fantastic looking. Very shiny paint. I asked Bob if he waxed it just this morning no. before he came no. over. He says no, but I don't know if I believe him. No, I, <laughs> but I had to. I had to put a new awning on recently, so that kind of gives it a little bit of a. Oh, so the, so that's shiny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So it has an onboard generator, I'm assuming? Yeah, that just quit the other day. Uh-oh. So that's my next project. Okay. It's, Is it a diesel generator? It's a propane, Onan 4000. Propane. Okay. So I was okay. just working on it. Needs, needs, needs service. It needs something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a really, really sharp looking rig here. Now I know that there's uh, an avid fan group, an owner group of these lazy days. Uh, this is built on the E450 chassis, so same as my ambulance, same engine as my ambulance. You know, most RVs were built with gas engines because it's a lot quieter. You know, in an RV, you're you're wanting quiet and comfort. This has the big 7.3 power stroke in it, which I think is unique. I could be wrong. All you Lazy Days owners out there, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, is the 7.3 common to see in one of these rigs? Yeah, one thing that I that I commented to Bob about was how many windows this thing has. Just amazing. But you said they are single pane, which yeah. you don't like because of the, it's the a, hot and cold. This is a warm, warm weather camper. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a, uh, it doesn't handle cold weather very well. I see. Okay. Well, cold weather can always be overcome. You just turn the heater up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, it just takes propane. It has a propane heater. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of doing a diesel. Uh, I'd recommend it. Yeah. You've got a diesel tank. You'd never have to worry about fuel supply. They cost about, you can buy them for 99 bucks off eBay and you can install them in an afternoon. No kidding. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Bob, for letting us see this. Oh yeah, Thanks for welcome. bringing it by. Um, I am not an expert on Lazy Days, but I know there's a lot of you out there that are big fans of the Lazy Days and I can see why it's a beautiful, beautiful looking rig. It looks, it looks like the kind that they're trying to reproduce these days to look retro cool. Well, this is already cool. It doesn't need to be like a fake retro one. Now, you want Kirby to show you how to do that? Come on. No, he's just sniffing. <laughs> okay. I was going to 
You know, Kirby's not the most capable. He, he's a big sniffer. Come on, Left, you got to get out. We're done. Oh, man. Well, I, I want to show that floor mat. I think that's just you got bad sun shades right now. But I love the Lazy Days floor mat. I don't think you can beat that with a stick. That is so awesome. <laughs> okay. All right, Dave. Well, thank you again oh, for you're letting welcome. me see this thing. I love it. It's we'll very, see. very nice. All, All right, right. Have an awesome day. Okay. Thanks, All Dave. All right, Bob. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Well, that was nice. We had uh, a visitor come to see us. Actually, she's down from Canada. I think she might be the first Canadian to come and see Lefty. Uh, you know, she pretty readily admitted that she didn't come here to see me. She came to see the dog, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But she's on a, just a couple week trip down across into the US to see some see some sights and one of the places she wanted to come experience was down here she actually has met some friends down here that are camped on down the way a little bit so she stopped by she got some stickers from us which is great so again if you're in the area you want to stop by and grab some stickers come and pet lefty on the nose rub that freckled belly of his send me an email thecampulanceman at gmail.com or go to the website, thecampulanceman.com. There's a contact us page on there. Shoot me a message. Either way, we'll get it. We'll set up a date and time for you to come by and you get to enjoy all the lefty and a little bit of the David. And you might even see this guy right here. Not that you care, but you do care about the bear. Yes. Hi, Bear. Hey, buddy. You see, Bear comes prepared. Right? Okay. Pete, Pete. Before they start getting the earrings. Of course, you Pete. Of course, you Pete. What? All right. All right. There we go. That's the good boys. That's the good boys. His size, his breed, and a lot of them white. Yeah. So he might have had a bad, you know, like a... It's a good dogs. That's a good boys. Yeah. Woo! Thanks, everyone, for being here. Everybody take care. Be safe. We'll see you all again really soon. With all these dogs, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't put me in there. Bobby! Oh, <laughs>